Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Uh, you know, as long as we're at the overworld before we go over to Oka Manor, might as well go ahead and flop around here to see if there's any post-game dialogue. Oh, you at tennis? There is no post-game dialogue, huh? <laughs> alas, alas, still no new dialogue. Despite my exploration, I wonder if uh, golf poster saved again. Yeah, it did save. Okay. I will be back here sometime in the future, but not now. I'm not ready for that level of punishment. So let's go over to Oak Manor, and I'm going to probably just use the same club set that I had in the last place, because I got my skimming woods, I can got, got my curvatures, I got my high lofts. I think I'm good. Uh, how's that ghost doing? After all these years, I am vindicated. Awesome. Until... You tried getting the gruesome twosome to play your course in during the credits. And he's like, oh, no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take our minions and we're gonna rule the world. <laughs> Whoa, only it, it still hasn't happened. You know, it, 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 it probably is not gonna happen either if you think about it. Can I? I was gonna say, can I push that back? No. I was gonna say, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that they're gonna be able to take over the world with their minions anytime soon, because their minions are surprisingly fragile. <laughs> Just hit them with a ball, they explode. Nearby explosion, they explode. <laughs> their minions, not the most reliable of undead bringers of doom. But I guess that is the best they're getting in this area. <laughs> yeah, not really seeing anything new per se. Oh, I wonder if I could actually hit more balls into the Blood Gators. Just really quick here, just want to see. Well, there's a there's this area here. All right, let's hit over to the not kid friendly area and see what happens. Nothing. <laughs> Just had to try it, because before, I think I only hit chicken wings into their area. I don't know if I actually hit just a regular ball. Oh, speaking of regular balls, I thought about something else. Like, remember when I tried kicking a ball over the edge, um, it just floated in midair? Like, uh, but what happens if I kick a ball in the water? Okay, so that, that does things normally. But yeah, um, normally, it, it should just, you know, just... HOW DID I DO THAT?! <laughs> I mean, that was, that was, that was just been... HOLY POOPERS! HOLY POOPERS! Look, what the poop? <laughs> Bounces off the very banks! Like a pinball shot! <laughs> that was... Just a... Unexpected random find, basically. <laughs> Are you gonna join the gruesome twosome? Nah, I guess not. I guess not. You're you're a good non-minion or just good zombie skeleton guy. You're you're a catcher, and the catchers they uh, clear out this area. Pardon me here, really quick. There, okay. No, okay, I'll leave that one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just messing around. But yeah, the, only some of the minions are dangerous and not really that dangerous. You could probably just tap them on the head with a golf club, and they'd explode. Just how delicate they are. Uh, well, we're getting we're getting to the manor here. We're gonna set up our own soon enough. I assure you. I'm just taking a look see to be sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, wait, did I did I ever hit a ball like up over this area? I mean, I know there's a minion over here that I had to knock an eye into, but. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, just, mm -hmm. guess not. <laughs> I'll leave that ball for any random cheeky beak birds that decides to float on by. Oh, you got, oh, you, we actually got some new minions here. I thought all of your other minions are blown up from the great wizard's dastardly plan. So, uh, I guess you want to run the golf thingy? No, I mean, yes, you better repair your divots. <laughs> Golf thingy. <laughs> All right, let's organ it up. Let's birdie it up because we've got badges to collect. And if we get all the badges, I don't know what'll happen. But I want to get all the badges, so 
I'm gonna get all those badges. At least, in theory, I'm gonna get all those badges. Maybe some will take just pure dumb luck for me to pull off getting a badge. But maybe... Oh, I'm in... Oh, whoa! Holy poopers! <laughs> I have... I have taken advice from Pink! Except I didn't get it in on the fly like she did, but still! I have all in one the first hole myself. And I notice that the uh, Albatross medal is the same as the hole in one medal. Do you notice that? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, I should probably go ahead and focus on my shot now. Just gonna try and barely land it across the water and hope that it'll stop. There we go. Very nice. See, I think uh, increasing my spin has helped me stop the ball a whole lot more. But the question is, will it allow me to get the birdies that I need on holes four and eight? Yes, number eight again, of course. We shall see. <laughs> this is not one of them, but I'm still going for birdies. This is a par five though, so I should at least get a birdie on it relatively easily, I would think. Just hit it down the center of that fairway. If it bounces off a pumpkin, it bounces off a pumpkin, whatever. I know the, the pumpkins are springy, but they're not that springy for such a wide patch of fairway. Now, I think to get to the green, I should be able to use my skimming woods, or at least a power shot. Yeah, I think if... I was going to say, if I use my skimming woods, I think I'm going to end up short. So maybe I will go for the power shot. Mm, play it off of... The cart path, yes! Because why not? Oh, that's actually gonna miss the cart path because I mishit it. Ah, poopers. So looks like I'm, t I'm gonna try and chip it for eagle. <laughs> At least I think I'll have to chip it because I those gravestones are in my way. Yep, that's what I thought. So, 72 degree. Can I t focus shot? Yes, I can. <laughs> I can even focus shot on the green. Sure, sure, why not? I, only, I put it just a little bit to the right to anticipate that slope. And go in. Go in! Go in! <laughs> Still don't know the difference between a monster and a mega, but I'll take it. Yeah, maybe I, I, sh maybe I should hold off on my focus shots until I get to the uh, holes that I need the birdies on, you know? Because those are uh, pretty dang useful to utilize there. Uh, oh, I don't know what... Just, just jiggling all over the place as I'm hitting through the trees. Um, I guess I'll just hit it over there and hope that I manage to keep the ball on the green on my next shot. I have more distance than I had before, so I should, in theory, be able to use a low... Oh, I was going to uh, I was gonna say, so I should be able to use a lower lofted club. Uh, I guess I'm teeing it up instead, instead of a focus shot. Uh, oh, poopers. Well, this might this might still be doable. If I play for the slope of the green, and maybe with a little curvature, let's say a little curvature, maybe I'll have to curve it that away. And something like that. No, that's that's just cutting back on so much power, and I don't I can't use my woods. And that's just gonna be all sorts of issues. Because with the loft, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to hit it somewhat short over there and uh, poopers. Can I get away with a four iron? Just like roll it out after hitting the fairway? I don't think so. So I'm gonna go back here and no, I don't think so. I hope I didn't screw myself out of the birdie I need. <laughs> Uh, well, I'll try there and not really do much more than that. I just gotta hope to get it on the green and then one putt. Let's go! Oh, 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 oh! That, that has a chance! I've given myself a chance! Can I finish it though? Yes! <laughs> okay, we're still on then. Except for hole number eight, which is a part of three. That's the one with that green that's really weird where it's all those triangular shaped pieces of green stuck together with rough in between them. That is such an awkward hole. Uh, 
I really I think I am better off with the driver here. I was gonna say maybe I'm better off bouncing it over the tree by landing it short or something. Cause you've seen how high the ball bounces on, on landing and all, but nah, this is a pretty dang long par three. Blink. And eh, I'll take it. I think I can still put that in. I'm close enough to the edge of the green where power shouldn't matter that much. I'm gonna overhit anyway. There we go. <laughs> All right, playing pretty steady. It's even better than steady if you think about it because of that first hole. And next up, the scattered fairway hole of doom. Uh, I'll just play there. <laughs> <laughs> it seems fine to me. It's a short par 5, and as long as I take the shortest route, I mean, I should say the, the most direct route between the two points, we should be okay. Uh, wait, what? Oh! Because I'm in the rough, that's, yeah, ooh. Oh. Well, I have the skimming wood, so... If I landed in the water, it should be fine. I think. <laughs> We're gonna find out! <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, I'll take it. It's good. Maybe. <laughs> uh, by the way, I noticed that that... Uh, see that normal focus power tee up thing on the side there? I noticed that refills when I really nail the marks on the gauge, so... Uh, it's it's not like it's a it's not limited and you can't get the stuff back. And it, it comes back as you as you keep making accurate shots on the power gauge thing. I kept forgetting to mention that, but now you know, I think. <laughs> I think if I hit this at max yards, I mean power, it should... Oh, no. Maybe I should have chipped that. Because it's just I didn't have nearly the power that I needed that I could with my 72 or something. And... Yeah. Okay, I'll take a birdie. I think I lost... My hole-in-one, though-ish, because I kind of put myself in a bad position that hole, but we're okay. As long as I get the birdie on number eight, I will consider this a success. If not, I'm going to have to keep replaying until I get it, which is going to suck, probably, because it's, it's a lot of holes to play through just to have one shot at one hole. And... Woo! Fly ball, fly! Remember what I did here as I landed on one fairway so it bounced over to the next one? I tried doing that there, but it didn't quite. Well, well, well. Anyway, I don't need the birdie on this one. <laughs> we just need to keep a decent score going, I guess. I wonder if I, sometimes the reason why I'm not getting birdies on uh, certain times just when I overthink things like when I remember I kept saying that I wanted to be sure that I was gonna get a birdie on those other holes I mean yeah I did get birdies but I took so long to actually aim myself to get birdies on said holes and stuff like that I wonder if sometimes I just overthink it and I should just just hit <laughs> all right the moment of truth right here can I get a birdie on this horrendously difficult par three I think so just as long as I can control its landing and roll out <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna aim for it to land on the green so it bounces over to the next chunk of grass after that oh it didn't roll out I mean yeah I know I put backspin on it to slow it down but I thought it was just gonna roll out as can I pull this off with the putter can I? I really hope I can. I'm gonna go maximum. No! Oh, no! That was too much, but I could have definitely made that putt. I just didn't know how much rough there was. I didn't know how much green there was. And, and well, now I know how much there is because I'm in like directly between, so I can better estimate that. But nope, that's another time hole eight got me. And I'm gonna have to replay this round to get back to that hole. Oh, wait, there's this hole, though. Um, this one turned out hilariously well because of the skimming woods and their massive power of getting distance on things. And I didn't quite get it as accurate as I did the first time, but that will do. And... Yeah, go all the way over. I did it again. <laughs> I tried! I tried for that eagle, but it just looked like it 
It was less rough there than I thought. Eh, I got a Murray Dodge. Uh, fine. Ten under par, I'll take it. <laughs> Success-ish. But I still got still to get back over to hole A to really quick. So... I guess I'll see you over there. <laughs> no hole in one that time. Oh! <laughs> that was a weird landing. But I don't need a birdie on this hole, so yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Just really quick here, um, because I have to replay this hole, I wonder if I would have a better chance at getting a birdie if I, well, put put myself not by the trees, but instead over on that tippy tip of the fairway. Because, remember before I had that, I had to do all sorts of shenanigans to actually pull off getting a birdie on this, but if I was in a better position, like in a normal position, I wonder how the result would be, and that's not that much better, I think. I mean, I, I still kind of mishit that in a way, because well, I should say misjudge that, because of the whole, yeah, the, the slope thing, and yeah, well, I, I did get a birdie. So, that's two different ways of getting a birdie on that hole. Oh yes! I thought I overhit that one, but well, I mean, I did overhit that one uh, on the approach shot and on that shot, but well, it worked out. A slam dunk, a birdie. Ooh, this is a much better position on the sixth hole. Hmm. hmm. Let's see if I can put it in. Yeah. Oh. -ho! You know, you can actually play courses pretty quick here. It's it's only been like five minutes since I actually was going to cut ahead to the 8th. But yeah, look at that, we're already here. <laughs> so maybe it's not that bad uh, getting back to where I was hole-wise and whatnot. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to have the same ending score, or as good of an ending, ending score because of the, the flubbery that I had on the second hole there, but... That's not that's not the important thing that I'm going for here. We're going for Liberty badges. Okay, so now because of that issue that I had landing it back on that other patch of green there, I'm gonna try landing it a bit closer to the hole this time. How does that sound? And you know what I'm gonna do too? Focus. <laughs> that's eliminate all the variables. Including the wind and let her fly. Come on, baby, get close, get close, get close, get close. Yes, this looks good. <laughs> I mean, that, it's probably always gonna be, or almost always gonna end up in the rough on this hole because this green is ridiculous. But the thing about it is, you don't really have much to work with here. But I got the birdie. <laughs> So that means it is a 100 complete, well, 100% complete scorecard, unless you want to go to the ultimate perfect chip in for a distance thing that I described before, but you don't want to do that, I don't think, unless you are feeling masochistic. And also, I noticed something on the flyover. This tree is in the water! How did I never notice that before? <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to be too worried about being in the water, because it's thriving pretty well, I guess. But still, I would think that it would be drowned by now. I mean, just look at the size of that tree. It had to have been in the water for ages. <laughs> anyway, let's finish this round so we can end off the part officially, shall we? Oops, no, no, no. All right, then no, 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 I go a little, little bit lower loft, yes. Just so I get that little bitty rollout with my 64. Boink. At least I'm hoping for that so I can chip it in. Yeah! And with that, not too shabby of a round, <laughs> I'm going to end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go ahead and attempt to retackle Tidy Park, I guess. Cause, uh, and hopefully, hopefully that ninth hole will not be the doom of me once again.